you just have so many projects going at once and you just can't finish any of them, I really need to eat. I'm hungry, but I need to work on dinner, so that's out of the way. You're so cute right now. I also wanted to show you what... She's supposed to be napping right now. Just adds to all of the flavor here. So I want to make dinner. I got stuff to make salsa and guacamole. I want to make those also. If I make it all today, it's going to be the best because it's going to be fresh. Luca took a business trip to Amsterdam and brought me back something really special and delicious and I want to show it to you. And for that, I need to make coffee. I also really wanted to give Lilu a bath. I wanted to do that after she got the haircut. There's just, there's no convenient time to do this. There just isn't. For today's coffee, this one seems the most appropriate. <laughs> what, Lilu? Oh, you're so cute. Where's your haircut? I know that schnauzers are supposed to have like the long beard, but God in heaven, how badly it grosses me out when she goes and smells something and then comes over to smell my leg and it's like little wet whiskers on my leg. It's so gross. All I can imagine is it's some other dog's piss and it's like, I, I hate it. And she's not a show dog. She doesn't need her beard. The whole reason that schnauzers have beards is for protection, actually. Uh, over where the books are. Yeah. Go over there, find a book that you like, and then you can bring it over here and read, and we'll read together. So what they used to do is they would grow out the schnauzers beard, and then they would back comb it to be really thick so that it would protect them against rat bites because they're ratters and they would hunt rats and they would exterminate them and so to pre prevent them getting bitten that's what they did not all schnauzers are ratters although Lilu has killed a few mice which is great I uh, would love to fulfill that side of her instinct if anybody has any mice or rats that need exterminating. The only thing is if I awaken that instinct and really encourage that behavior, then I know she's going to want to do the same with birds and other small animals. And so what is this lovely gift that Luca brought for me? He went to Amsterdam for a day and brought me back this, this lovely tin. I didn't know what was in it. But just the box was enough for me. Like, this is a great box. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet. My first thought was something with my makeup, but I could also use it as something for my artwork. I just 
love the tin box so much. But what is it actually? It is butter biscuits. Since uh, original recipes since 1886, authentic Belgian butter biscuits. You eat them with coffee, I guess? So, but first let's open this. Cute little butter biscuit sticker there. I love tin boxes so much. A tasteful story. The original recipe remains a close guarded secret to this day. All right. We hope you love this as much as we do. How cute. <gasps> wow. Very, it looks like a waffle, like a waffle cone sort of thing. Okay. So now if I, I think what I'm supposed to do is I pour in my coffee, then I put the biscuit on top and I wait for a few minutes for the biscuit to get soft and then I eat it with the coffee, which is going to be so perfect because there's nothing I love more than plain black unsweetened coffee with something sweet next to it. Timer done. Coffee. I have to say, more and more, I'm just realizing that a French press is my favorite cup of coffee. The reason I love the French press cup of coffee is because you still get all the oils from the beans in your cup of coffee. When you do a pour over with a filter, it filters, it catches most of that so you don't end up with as rich of a cup of coffee. Okay. Biscuit on top. <gasps> it just perfectly fits. Now it's supposed to be that the steam, like the heat coming up from the coffee, softens, softens this. I'm just going to Hey, hey. I will not negotiate with terrorists. I feel like I should cover this or something because it's probably going to take a little bit of time. All right. I'm just so anxious. I want to try this so much. Do I dip mm. it? That feels very cool. I dip it. That is so delicious. You know what it tastes like? Which I don't know if that's the coffee. Or... Mm, I love this coffee. I expected it to taste more like a waffle from a waffle cone. But it doesn't. It tastes like caramel. Like it tastes the way, you know, like if you caramelize sugar, it tastes very much like that. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit in the coffee for a little bit longer. That is so good. Oh, oh, oh. There is no better treat for me than something sweet and something, and coffee, just bitter straight coffee. Belgium, well done. That's delicious. I can't get over it. It's so cute. I just imagine the cuteness of having somebody over serving coffee and putting a little tin of biscuits on the table like that. Oh, so cute. So old fashioned. It makes me so happy. Hey. 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 Okay. I get cracking on dinner. The emotional, foodie side of me really wants to make the guacamole and salsa right now. But, dinner needs to get started. <laughs> you trying to cut into my scene? You trying to cut into my scene? Okay, dinner.